real quick, if you take a look up on the board at the divisibility rules for numbers 2 through 10, not including 7, up on the board right here, this board. Yeah. There we go. That's the board. Okay. Um, this is just a real quick um, check to see if numbers divide by certain numbers. Um, if numbers even divides by 2, if the sum of the digits adds up to a number that divides by 3, for example, if the sum of the digits adds up to 6 or 15 or 27 or one number, a number that divides by 3, 3 will divide the whole number. If the last two digits form a number that divides evenly by 4, for example, 8,944, the last two digits are 44, that divides by 4, so the whole thing does. Oh. Uh, here's an example of this one, 375. 3 plus 7 plus 5 is 15, divides by 3, so 375 divides by 3. All right? Uh, last digit is 0 or 5 for 5. I think that was pretty obvious for everybody. Um, if 2 and 3 both work, it's even, and the sum of the digits adds up to number divides by 3, then it divides by 6. Um, the last three digits form a number that divides evenly by 8, so it's like the 4 rule, except it divides evenly by 8. So um, 61,808. 808 divides by 8, so the whole thing does. Uh, 9, the sum of the digits adds up to a number that divides evenly by 9. 162. 1 plus 6 plus 2 is 9 divided by 9, so 162 divided by 9. Uh, 10, the last digit, 0. There's a rule for 11, I'll skip it, because um, the other rule is using a calculator. Type your number divided by a number you're testing. comes out as a decimal, doesn't divide evenly. For example, if I try 162 and divide by 7, doesn't divide by 7. Okay. 162 divided by 9, hey, it does divide by 9. All right. In fact, it divides by 9 twice. So, again, those are the visibility rules we're um, looking at getting prime factored form, and that's going to be today's, one of today's topics. Um, what I have here is a way of finding all the prime numbers between 1 and 100 without too much difficulty. It's called the Sib of Eratosthenes. He was a Greek mathematician that came up with this idea of how to find prime numbers. It's very, very, very efficient. It finds all the prime numbers in less than 10 steps. And it works like this. One is not prime. So skip it. Yes. So do this on your paper. One is not a prime number. A prime number is a number two or larger whose only factors are two and two and one. Or sorry, itself and one. So two times one is two, that's the only way to make two. Three times one is three, that's the only way to make three. Seventeen times one is seventeen, that's the only way to make seventeen. So those are prime numbers. But they have to be two or bigger. All right? So the way the sip of Eratosthenes works, once we throw out one, whatever the first number we get to, which is two, is a prime number. And then we strike out every multiple of two after that. So all the even numbers after two can divide by two. Why are we striking them out? Because they divide by two. They're not prime. Prime numbers only divide by themselves and one. So if they're even, they divide by two. So one times itself and two times something else makes it so they're not prime. So every even number gets thrown out like so. This is the lengthiest one. So be creative if you wish, but just make sure they all go away. All right. So two knocked out all those. So again, prime number here, everything else is a multiple of two. So two times two, two times three, two times four, two times five, making them all composite because one times itself and two times something makes it. The next number on the list is three. And if I strike out every multiple of three, counting by threes, we got three, six already gone, nine, 12's already gone, 15, 18's already gone, 21, 24 is gone, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, 42, 45, 48, 51, 54, 57, 60, 63, 66, 69, 72, 75, 78, 81, 84, 87, 90, 93, we'll get 91 soon, and 96, 99. So everything in red that wasn't already struck out is now struck out. Again, the blue one's already struck out some of them, right? All the even multiples of three are gone. Now all the odd multiples of three are gone also. Three is prime. Everything else marked out in red is not prime. Moving right along, the next number on the list, four's already struck out, right? So the next number on the list, five, that's a prime number. Every multiple of five gets thrown out. All the multiples of ten are already gone, right? Five times two, four, six, eight, and so on. 
5 times 5 is 25, 5 times 7 35, 5 times 11, 5 times 13, 5 times 17, 5 times 19. There's all my multiples of 5 that haven't already been struck out. Next number on the list is 7. We go multiples of 7, counting by 7, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49. 56, 63, 70, 77, 84, 91, 98. What's the square root of 100? 10. 10. 10 is the square root of 100. So that means once I get to 10, which is the square root of 100, I found all of them. Anything that's not marked out at this point is a prime number. So if, at this point, 11, 13, 17, 19, 29, 23, 31, 37, 41, 43, 47, 59, 53, 61, 71, 73, 67, 79, 89, 97, 83, and of course the four we already found. Everything highlighted in yellow is a prime number. Okay, when we do a prime factorization, we're trying to get down to prime numbers. Every one of those numbers can divide only by themselves in one. Your book tends to stick to the numbers 19 and less when they're doing prime factorizations. They occasionally throw one in of these bigger ones, but usually they stick between 2 and 19 for primes. If I'm not mistaken, there's 25 prime numbers within between 1 and 100. I think there's 4, 8, 10, 12, 15, 17, 19, 22, 24, yeah, 25. So 25 numbers between 1 and 100 are prime. Hey, can you move that up there? Sure. If nothing else, the Civil Veritasenes gives you an ability to um, count by, you know, sevens better and fives better and so on. So, it's kind so of there's easy. 25? There are 25, yes. Right. If you have 25 numbers circled, then you have the right amount. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31. 37, 41, 43, 47, 53, 59, 61, 67, 71, 73, 79, 83, 89, 97. Those are all the primes.